Hey y'all, it's your girl Simona. Welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today is another story time. And before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give a girl a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram at Viva La Yoshi, TikTok and Twitter at Life with Simone. And follow my business page at Brashari. Y'all, the Denim and Diamonds tickets is on sale now. It's July 27th, but yeah, it's on sale now. The, I'll put the link down in my description so y'all can go ahead and check that out. But yeah, let's get into this video so y'all i feel like i ain't told y'all story time is so long and i'm sorry but anyway that's enough so y'all this story time is like okay so it's kind of like a story time that people been asking me about for like two years now so y'all if you remember if you've been here for a while do you remember when i mentioned a story time a while back about how i was being harassed by a serial iller yeah so this i was thinking because i'm like dang for the longest i'm not even gonna lie i didn't tell the story because i was just so paranoid and thinking like what if this man got family members and they it's they watch my video and then it sound familiar and they know and then they like i don't know i was just thinking the most craziest stuff but then honestly i was like i don't know i don't think nothing of it like i kind of start being a little bit clear more clear-headed and i was like okay so anyway for this story because this happened over a period of time literally like two to three months so it just makes sense for me to tell stories within the like for me to tell about like certain parts of what happened in between stories like inside of stories around the same like when it was all happening because every things was happening around the same time when this was happening that's why i was a little bit more paranoid too but anyway, let's get to it. So one day I'm in the house, coming in the house, and I literally was just coming back from the store or getting something to eat. I don't really remember, but I remember I was coming in the house. I remember it's fresh as day. Y'all know when it's something that's traumatizing to you, you kind of really remember every detail. My grandma was in the kitchen. When I walked through the door, she literally just peeked her head through and said, Oh, Moni, you home? You want some meat? Because she was cooking. I was like, Oh, no, it's cool. I got something. So anyway, the phone started ringing, and she was like, Moni, can you get that? So I was like, All right. I answered the phone. I looked at it before I answered and they said private caller because usually if they say like somebody for her, I'll be like, okay, like, or if it's somebody for my grandpa, I'll be like, oh, it's for you. Like, it's such and such. You want to talk to them? Like, you know, certain stuff like that. So I seen it say a private caller, caller. And at this time, I'm having beef with people, but not as much, not at this point. But at the same time, nobody got my house number for real, for real. Only people that had my house number was like toxic my other friend like a few friends that i literally just know forever forever like and i'm like toxic not about to be playing on my house phone me and her wasn't cool at this time but yeah i'm like she's not about to be playing on my house phone so anyway i look i'm like let me answer so i'm like hello and the person was like hello it was a familiar voice i've heard this voice before but i don't know him like he literally just called the house before so he was like can i speak to such and such she asked for my mom so i'm like oh she's not here you want me to take a message who's calling so he was all like look i keep calling and every time i call y'all keep saying the same thing do she got a number i could reach her at so i was like no she don't have a number but i don't know like i'm lying because i don't know why for one i don't know why she i didn't just say she don't litter because she don't and two i don't know i should have just been like she don't live here <laughs> but i wasn't about to give her a number out so i'm lying i'm like well i see her every once in a while but she doesn't live i mean she does she's not here so i could leave a message so he's like i keep calling he's like i think i spoke to you before you told me she wasn't there in a call back and i was like i almost definitely did not say call back because y'all my grandparents been having that same number for years so sometimes it's not rare for people to call like literally people will call and be looking for my mom like literally her eighth grade best friend had called the house one time looking for her like it's not rare at all so i'm like nigga move on i'm just thinking to myself if you call my house phone looking for her you ain't got her cell phone number you're clearly somebody from the past from the 90s and shit like that move around move on like why are you keep trying to reach her so he was like i was saying all this stuff so he was like yeah i keep trying to call her he was like it's important all this other stuff he was like it's just very important that i speak to her and i can't let it go on any longer i'm trying to save her so he said save her i'm like hold up hold up hold up so i'm like save her like what are you talking about so he was like I can't tell you it's very important he's like who am i speaking with so i'm like this is her daughter like you can tell me like what's going on so he was like it's very important and it's very dangerous and i can't tell you any more information because once i tell you you're in it too and i was like oh never mind yet i'll just you have a number she can call you back <laughs> back on because yeah i don't know what you're talking about but i ain't involved so he was like well i already said too much so at this point i'm irritated because it's like well why would you say too much and then say you didn't <sighs> irritated me so mind you he told me what his name was which i'm not gonna say this man's name because with a google search you could look him up and see the crazy shit that this man did and he's literally still sitting on i don't know if i could say d f row in 
prison. Yeah, so I just, I don't got time. Because people be start doing weird stuff. I don't got time. Somebody might write the man or something. I don't know. So anyway, so yeah. But at this time, mind you, I don't know who this is. Because I don't just look up crime that happened in Los Angeles throughout the years. And know everybody who did something crazy. So anyway, I don't know who this is. So like I said, I got his name or whatever like that. So he like, yeah, um, well, I might as well tell you now because literally I can't hold them off anymore. So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, okay, what is it? At this point, I'm kind of like nervous. And my grandma come up in there. She could see how I'm talking on the phone. She's like, everything good? Who you talk to? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine, grandma. So he was all like, so your mom, <laughs> it's just funny telling the story now because back then it wasn't, but yeah. So he was like, so your mom is tied in with the mob <laughs> with the mob so i said what my mom you know when somebody says some crazy shit? so i'm like i don't know i think you got the wrong person so he was like no i got the right person he said her first and last name he started saying the address i said oh the fuck she done got herself into see at this point in my life i'm thinking like can't be my mom because she's a stay-at-home mom and she just be chilling but when i was a kid i was kind of I, I, I was kind of confused at certain things. I didn't know what my mom did for a living sometimes in her life. So, shit. I'm like, hey, maybe there's some shit that happened in the past, but why are they calling now? So, anyway, so he like, yeah, she owes some money. Da, 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 da. She haven't paid up and she been ducking and dodging. That's probably why you ain't gave her the phone calls, which, honestly, I never told her this person called because she don't be giving a fuck. She don't care to, like, rekindle nothing. Like, she literally in a relationship. So... He like, yeah, she been ducking and dodging. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck? So he was like, yeah, so she don't got no cell phone number. At this point still, I'm like, nah, she ain't got no cell phone because she's going to be mad as hell if I get somebody her number. So I'm like, she ain't got no cell phone number. So he was like, okay. He was like, well, now you're going to be the one to have to save your mom. You think you up to it? I said, no. He was like, well, you already in it. So he was like, but he not talking all like jolly. He's talking like real serious. He was scaring me. So he like, I'm going to call you back at 9 p.m. with details. It is very important that you answer this phone because I promise promise you what's your name my dumb ass Simone I promise you Simone I cannot save y'all unless you do what I tell you I'm really the good guy I really don't like the job they give me but I'm trying to save your mom I know she's a good woman I said what the fuck I said wait because I was literally about to go somewhere I was about to like I was coming back in the house and I was about to get dressed and head out so I'm like can you call back at 10 he was like 10 why at 10 I said because I'm about to go help a friend i'm literally lying so he's like okay he was like give me your number matter of fact so i call your cell phone i'm like i don't have a cell phone he was like why like why you don't have a cell phone mind you when he had said she owed people money i had already was like oh well i'm really broke i don't know what i could do <laughs> i don't have no money so me saying that already i was like remember i told you i was broke college student i don't have any money i'm giving too much information i'm like i don't have no money so i don't have a cell phone so he's like all right well i'm gonna call back at 10 p.m if you don't answer at 10 i'm sorry he said the address he said it's gonna look like fireworks over there. I said, ah, I was scared. So anyway, I go in the room. I get ready. Fast forward to like two, three hours later. My cousin that I, not my, really my cousin that I told you I had a girl named Brittany. She ended up calling me and was like, we finna pull up right now. Come outside. So I go outside. Brittany driving Vanilla in the front seat. Y'all remember Vanilla from last story time. And yes, as this time she is big pregnant. She kept the baby. So she's probably like six, seven months at this point. So she was like, we about to go pull up on my other homegirl. And we about to go be in traffic. That was the plans for the day. So I'm like, yes. And I didn't have to drive. So I was happy. But at the same time, I got this fucking thing lingering in the back of my head but i'm like you know what i'm gonna take a shot and forget that phone call because i'm still gonna be home by 10 because i need to figure out what's going on but yeah i kept telling them like no matter what we do i gotta be home at 10 o'clock so they like all right whatever so we ended up going to her other homegirl house and her homegirl i forgot what was going on i think they was either having like a little like celebration oh you know what i think it was like a champagne party because we did end up going to vanilla like i said remember she was in high school so she did end up graduating too and i remember we did go to her that's yeah anyway so yeah it was like a champagne party or something like that because i remember vanilla kept talking about her her prom was coming up and she was like yeah my dress is custom made so the girl was like can y'all come in the house real quick because she didn't want to leave right then and there while they was doing something so we was like all right so we ended up going in the house and everybody they lit her family lit as fuck prom girl prom girl <laughs> the ones going to prom they look cute yeah anyway so they put us over here they put us as if <laughs> we was being seated but anyway we were sitting at this table that was like in the corner or whatever and i just remember Brittany kept looking out the window at her car and i'm like why do you keep looking at your car and she was like because she was dealing with this dude and he was so weird like i don't know he kept, i kept i guess he kept telling her he was gonna come take her car or whatever because she didn't let him use it so she kept looking out the window i'm like girl he does not have a key but she like girl he would literally hotwire it and really take my shit so i'm like 
that's weird. <laughs> like, why is that somebody you deal with? But it's a lot of stories about him too. But anyway, so we sitting right there at the table and then a the girl, she came over. She gonna get a name because for some odd reason, I don't know why I was big hanging out with her and Vanilla a lot. So we just gonna name her Coco. So anyway, so Coco came over there and she was like, hey, and Brittany like this, Simone, it's my cousin or whatever like that. So she like, hey, nice to meet you. I'm like, hey girl. So Coco had a friend with her, her best friend. She don't need no name or whatever like that. That's just too many names. So anyway, so she came over, she talking to us or whatever. She like, yeah, we finna leave in a minute. We just about to take a few pictures or whatever and we can head out cause they about to go. So Brittany like, all right, cool, where are we going? So she was like, Coco, like we finna pull up to my hood, like the the ninjas is outside like they outside pretty much so she like all right cool i'm happy like everybody getting excited like you know when you younger and you hear the word niggas you just be like ah! <laughs> yes but no for real but anyway so we kind of like excited or whatever <laughs> and we sit in there so this girl ended up coming over there and i'm thinking she just somebody at the champagne party or whatever so she came over there or whatever and she just looking and she was like what's up to Brittany?" Brittany like oh what's up she said her name or whatever then she was like I know you from somewhere, mind you, I knew her from somewhere, I knew exactly where she knew me from. So when I was going into the ninth grade, I had went to summer school at Washington or whatever, and she was in my class. So I knew exactly where I knew her from, but mind you, we didn't, we didn't have beef or no issues or like that, but we wasn't friends. Like literally when I was in that class, cause me and my homegirl both went to that summer school, but we was in different classes. But only person I knew from my school, like that knew from middle school that was in there was this boy. And she ended up starting to date the boy. But mind you, I don't like him. I just didn't have nobody else to talk to. He's the only person I knew. So I would literally talk to him all the time. But like, she used to kind of feel some type of way because we was like really close. I don't know. She used to just be weird about it. So anyway, so she's like, I know you from somewhere. So I'm like, oh yeah, girl from Washington. Mind you, I'm like 18 or 19 at this point. I think I'm 18 at this point. This was a long time ago long time ago so ain't no way you still mad about that so she was like oh yeah i do know you and she gonna ask me like you still talk to such and such like the boy i'm like no i ain't seen him in years so she's like oh, okay i just thought y'all was like really close or whatever y'all used to date didn't y'all used to date or something like that i said no girl that was your man because it was like what did you over here trying to be weird even if you did clock some tea and i did say yeah bitch that was my nigga when it was your nigga it was years ago girl what you mad about unless he your husband now you finna call him out and slap him what is what are we doing? So I was like, no, girl. So she was like, oh, and she was like, wait a second. We was in the same class together. So I'm like, yeah. So she was like, you be hanging out with kids. Like, you hang out with kids. So I was like, what you mean? She was like, my sister, you hang out with my little sister. Mind you, at this point, I'm 18 or 19. I'm one of these ages. This girl was like 20. So her sister was the same age as me. You are saying it like if me and you the same age. Girl, you knew when you was in that class, you had got so a lot of missing credits. You knew, for one, we in a ninth grade, like English and math class. You knew your ass wasn't even a ninth grader. You was like maybe a junior or something like that. So you saying it as if just because you had to make up some ninth grade credits, that was my reason too, girl, the fuck? Like don't try, to, I just didn't like that because don't try to make it seem like I'm over here hanging out with some little ass kids and shit like that. That shit's weird. Like I'm trying to be the cool one because I'm the oldest one. No, I was not even the oldest one. So anyway, so I'm like, girl, I'm whatever age I was because I can't remember if I was 18 or 19. So I'm like, girl, I think I was 18 though. Now I think I probably was about to turn 19. But anyway, I'm like, girl, I'm 18. So she was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. And she just walked off. It was very weird. So they like, how you know her? So I'm like, we went to we went to summer school together. That's about it. Literally, that's about it. So anyway, we there for a cool minute. They just talking and shit like that. And next thing you know, Coco came and she was like, all right, let's go. We can leave. So we leaving to go out and they, the people, the people that's going to prom, they leaving to go out too. They doing a the most. They had it lit. I'm like, okay, prom party on 10. So anyway, we end up leaving. We hop in the car. We skirt off. So I'm happy. Y'all already know Vanilla's in the front seat because since she was pregnant, she was always in the front. It was no doubt about it. She always sitting in the front. And one thing about Vanilla that irritated me when she was pregnant was the fact that she wanted to be in a mix and she was annoying. And y'all will see why. Because, I mean, if you're going to be pregnant outside, that's you. I don't care what you do. Shit. But don't be irritating. So, anyway, we ended up pulling up to where her homeboys is at. They always outside was on a cul-de-sac. I said, oh, they outside. We excited. And all this other shit. Well, me and Brittany, because these are homies, so she really don't care. I mean, she talked to one of them and her homegirl did too, but, like, yeah so anyway we pull up and she was like just double park right here so we double parked next to this car and then it was like another car in front of 
us double park too they get out the car and while me and Brittany about to get out the car vanilla was like i'm not getting out the car i'm not getting out the car uh-uh what the fuck hell no i'm not getting out so Brittany like i'm gonna get out she like come on simone and vanilla was like simone stay in the car with me i didn't sign up for that i'm like vanilla no i'm not staying in the car like we came here to get out the car and to have fun and stuff like that i'm like girl uh, i'm getting out so she's like simone i'm not trying to get out the car like i'm pregnant i'm not trying to get out the car what the fuck why'd you come my thing is she knew this was the plan it's not like we had plans to go to the but to the ballet and then next you know it was like fuck that ballet we're gonna see them nicks like no this was the plan for us to see nicks you knew the plans so i'm like girl no, i'm about to get out so she's like man y'all fake as fuck she got so mad she's like y'all fake so i ended up getting out the car i'm like who who well probably skipped out that motherfucking car i probably did a flipped over for that car and jumped in their face like hey niggas but anyway we over there we talking and stuff like that he talking or whatever and she had the window cracked she didn't even have it all the way down she cracked that window y'all mind you we're standing in front of the other parked car that's double parked we're not even that far away but we're standing on this side like on the sidewalk side so where she's at she could see us right there because we stand right there we're not that far away from her she literally rolled down the window she got it cracked a little bit mind you Brittany had deep ass tent because like i said she's let her hood her hood do take her car whenever he felt like it so he needs to have tent on there so anyway so she had the window cracked down and she was like simone Simone I just hear her screaming Simone mind you when we was out there talking for a cool minute it seemed like she did not start screaming my name until one little fella came over there and was kind of talking to me he was just talking to me or whatever and I don't know what he was asking me it wasn't like really nothing important because I really don't remember and I never got that man's information he didn't ask for mine we probably was just talking about whatever I really don't remember but we was just talking so I just hear her Simone Simone and I was kind of ignore her and no lie because most definitely she's literally right there. I, I hear her. So she's like, Simone, you know you hear me. So that's when I turned. I was like, what? Like, what's up? So she was like, come here. Come here. So then I ended up going to the car and I'm like, what's up? Like, what's up, Vanilla? She was like, do me a favor. I was like, what? She was like, I'm hungry. I want to go to McDonald's. So can you get the keys and tell Brittany to let me go to McDonald's? So I was all like, why you didn't just call her? Why did you call me? I'm like, all right. And she was like, and then when you go over there, can you tell that boy to come here? I was like, who? So she was like, that boy right there, the one you was talking to, can you tell him to come here? So I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, sure. So I ended up going over there, and I'm like, Brittany, um, Vanilla want to use your keys to go to McDonald's. So she's like, hell nah, nah, because I already know what she's going to do. She's going to try to pull up by her baby daddy house. She's going to try to do some weird shit. Like, no, she's not going to use my car because she ain't going to come back. So Vanilla like, fuck you, bitch. Like, she just screaming out the car. She's like, let me see the keys. I'm really hungry. You're not going to feed your God, baby? I swear. She called her baby everybody God, baby. Because at one point, she said that to me. Like, dang, you want to do it for your God, baby? Girl, this is not my God child. So anyway, she like, um you're not gonna feed your guy baby so Brittany started laughing and she was like well i'm not gonna take you i feel like taking you so she's like simone if you want to take her then you could drive because i know you're gonna come back but like she can't get my keys like she cannot drive my car and go to mcdonald's so she was like all right simone take me take me and then i was all like all right hold on i was like oh yeah she asked for you to come over there i was like she he was like who in that car and i was like vanilla he was like who so then coco like vanilla that's vanilla so he was like who she was like vanilla you know vanilla remember her like she started explaining he was like man you for real that's her and he was like yeah he was like barely get your ass out the car but he walking over to the car and talking to her whatever she, it's like when he got closer mind you she had that window probably like eye level when he got close she put it up eyebrow level she was not playing no games i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with her so anyway they talking or whatever you could kind of hear him yelling but i'm not really too much in their conversations now at this point at this point i'm talking to them because everybody want to make a mcdonald's order so we talking or whatever and everybody putting it in like okay i'm gonna get this give me this a giving the money i might give exact change because i'm not paying for nobody i was <laughs> I'm not paying for nobody. Give me exact change. So he like, all right, he had a little bottle of Ciroc. I took me a shot and I was like, all right, I'm finna go. So I took everybody order down and I'm like, all right, we finna go. So he like, why? I hear him when I'm walking in. He like, why the fuck you got the, why you call me over here? If you gonna have a window up, you weird as fuck. Like you weird as fuck. And he started trying to walk up. She's like, come back, come back. So I'm walking to the car and I'm about to get in. And she was like, get in the car. Like we go to McDonald's, hop in the car. So he was like, oh, okay, I'm about to hop in. I'm gonna go with them to McDonald's or whatever. So they like, all right, like all right see you when you get back so he hopped in the back seat and he like why the fuck you being weird as fuck like why you not trying to because when he hopped in the car he hopped in behind her mind you because he on that side of the car mind you she like this she like what the fuck why are you in here you literally just told him to get in the car so he like why are you being so weird he like leaned over to look in the front he said 
you pregnant she was like man don't even start don't start he was like damn that's crazy as fuck so when he said you pregnant i don't know why i kind of stopped the car and i was looking like what's going on so he was like that's crazy that's crazy so she was like Simone drive and I'm like oh my bad so I started driving or whatever they talking and he mad as fuck he's like that's crazy like you wasn't gonna say shit like you just wasn't gonna tell me you was pregnant that's weird she was like why should I have to tell you I'm pregnant it's not like it's your baby so it don't even matter like we, we it don't matter he was like you be hitting me up like I was just talking to you like you be hitting my line she was like okay but like you never asked she was like I was pregnant when I met you like so it doesn't even matter so he's like but you still could have told me you was pregnant like that's crazy you out here fucking niggas and she was like fucking niggas i just my baby daddy and he was like dang that's crazy she was like it's not like me and you ever did anything we literally just be texting like why are you mad he was like why are you? i'm not mad but it's just weird basically he was just saying like it's just weird that she was hiding her pregnancy from him like they text and talk all the time and you Failed to mention that she was pregnant and then when you seen me you thought you could roll the window up and i was not gonna see that she was pregnant i don't know it was kind of weird so they going back and forth talking we finally get to mcdonald's or whatever that i'm like tuned out their conversation because at this point i'm stressed out thinking about who the fuck was on that phone so i'm literally like just zoned out i'm in a mcdonald's parking lot mind you the car went up ahead of me and i'm just staring just zoned out not even paying attention and she was like simone you're not gonna go up so i'm like oh shit my bad i placed my 100 orders and yeah when it was time for us to pay for the food tell me who tell me who did not slide no motherfucking money vanilla vanilla so she didn't slide no money so i'm like vanilla where your money at so she was all like can you buy me something like you gonna feed your god baby so i was like no <laughs> i was like vanilla i don't even got it like that for real because which i didn't i forgot i had to pay for something i'm like vanilla i don't got i only got enough money to give me something to eat and plus after hanging out with vanilla for a while she used her pregnancy she tried to use her pregnancy to her advantage and she would literally try to get people to buy her shit buy her food all this shit like no mm -mm, i'm not doing it so i was like yeah i don't got it so she was like dang okay my Mind you, Brittany had gave me 20 and Brittany only wanted probably like a McDouble and a small fries and a, and a drink. Pretty much what everybody got. So she was like, use the money from Brittany's food to pay for it and I'll just pay her back. So I'm like, shit, all right, whatever. Even though I should have been like, no, but I was just like, whatever, they friends. So I'm thinking like, you know, they probably do that shit all the time. I don't know. So I just was like, whatever. So when we get back, I'm, we distributing the food and shit like that. And I get Brittany her change because everybody else gave pretty much exact change. Like they probably would have had like some cents left for a dollar. And I literally put in my purse because... <laughs> because they wasn't even checking for it no way so anyway i gave Brittany her change and it's short of course because i got vanilla food with it so she was like where the rest of my change at so i was like oh yeah my vanilla had got her food with yours she said she was gonna pay you back so she like why the fuck would you let her get her food with my money like why nobody didn't call me like why would you not say nothing so i'm like i don't know i thought it was cool so like, you know, because you're not about to, uh-uh. So she was like, what the fuck? She's like, well, Simone, then you give me the money back for her food thing. Because why would you think that was okay? I'm like, I'm not giving you the money back for your friend's food. Mind you, Vanilla is my friend too at this point, but I know her through her. I don't know why I said your friend, but basically, like, girl, you know, I'm not giving you money. What the fuck do I look like? So I'm like, Vanilla says she'll give you the money, so go hit her up. She's like, Vanilla's not going to give me the money. She always be playing games. So Vanilla, like, rolled that fucking window down and was like, I'll give you your fucking money back. Stop playing with me. You already know I'm going to give you your money back. I'm already putting you on to money plays and shit like that. It's just a little bit of money. Like, damn, you couldn't feed your guy, baby. So she like, man, Vanilla, like, you already owe me money. Like, bitch, you going to put gas in my car. And like, she's just so mad. She was like, you doing the most over some little ass fucking money in front of these niggas bitch don't act like that in front of these niggas because Brittany was kind of doing the most vanilla did try to use her pregnancy to her advantage and get people to do shit for her but she did put money in Brittany pockets at times and it was times where we literally was there because i've known vanilla for a long ass time but it just used to be it's just around this time is when i started hanging out with her on my own versus hanging out with her when Brittany was involved all, all the time but it's like it was a lot of things that me and vanilla both was there for you for like damn just buy her the damn food it's not that deep and i know y'all probably think like it's the principal she probably needed her money but i don't know i feel like she was trying to do the most because that's one thing about Brittany. she was trying to do the most in front of some niggas so when vanilla was like bitch da -da -da, you know how much money i touch you know how much money i touch i'm literally paying for my whole prom next week i'm da -da 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 -da. i touch bands stop playing with me da -da -da -da. she going in on her she's like man you doing too fucking much so oh boy was like man 
man, take her home. Like, she doing too much. Like, take her home, her pregnant ass. They talking shit or whatever. They just going back and forth. And I'm just like, dang. So when oh boy tried to get out the car and come talk to me, I'm like, uh-uh. Because you literally got some type of going on with Vanilla. Like, I'm cool. Like, even though whatever, I don't know. I'm just cool on it. That's weird. I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, I want to talk to you. Even though I know you and Vanilla be texting or whatever. But no, I'm cool. So when he was talking, it was just like, nah, I'm in a group conversation. Her and Brittany literally going at it. But I'm not over there because I'm like, I don't got time for this shit. Like, they just, you know when it's like around the times when you used to, like, I don't know. Well, I know for me, around the times when I used to get into it with people a lot and get into it with and shit and be toxic friendships and shit. When it was my turn and I was not arguing, oh, baby, I don't care about what y'all arguing about. I'm just happy it ain't me. So they arguing and shit like that. And eventually, Brittany was like, I'm ready to go. Let's leave. Like, let's leave. So... They like, all right, whatever. So Coco said bye to her friends. I hop in the car because shit, you said let's go, whatever. I'm not tripping. It was cool over here, but it is what it is. We hop in the car and we start driving off and Vanilla was like, no, bitch, because you over here stressing my damn baby out over some damn, over a little bit of money. Like, you already know I got you. She was like, it's still the point. Like, girl, you always do that shit. So Brittany was like, where are we finna go? Like, who, who like, want to get dropped off first or whatever? And Vanilla was like, can we go to somewhere else? Like, y'all ain't got nobody else to pull up on. She's like, Simone, I know you be... With, cause remember I told you I used to hang out in the hood every day for odd ass reasons. So she's like, Simone, we can't pull up on none of your friends. Like you ain't got no ninjas for us to pull up on. So I'm like, uh uh, <laughs> no, because y'all, I didn't know Coco. I'm not about to bring her around, my, her and her homegirl around my niggas, niggas. I'm just kidding, but no, I just I don't know, like. I gotta read people first. Not read them, but I gotta figure out who you are first before I bring you around certain people. Cause I, you know, certain people be certain ways, and it be like I'm just not about to. For disaster, uh-uh. Britney killed that for a lot of people. Cause man, everybody I bring around Britney, they got a tool with her. Literally, everybody from my sister to my friends, best friends. Her and Toxic got into it. Everybody, she literally was just annoying. So I'm like, mm -mm, not with Britney. <laughs> And not with her. But anyway, so yeah, I'm like, we not got nowhere to go. Vanilla like, yeah, let's find somewhere else to pull up on. So Brittany like, bitch, you was the main one. Now her and Coco getting into her. Like, you was the main one over here mad talking about some Why were you not getting out the car? This, that, and third. Why you want to just be somewhere to be sitting in the car and watch people and being annoying? Because y'all, when I'm telling y'all, when we was out there, she kept calling my name multiple times. Even before we went to, the, went to McDonald's, she kept calling me it'll be like simone come here get in the car with me simone no leave me the fuck alone get out the car like damn you been annoying so anyway she like okay can we pull up over here so Brittany like we're not pulling up on your baby daddy like we're not pulling up on him so she's like no we're gonna go pull up on somebody else like we're not pulling up on him y'all we get to this street it's some boys playing basketball outside guess who the fuck we pull first <laughs> listen we first pull up we see them playing basketball and shit like that so Brittany pull up she like oh okay who is this like who hood is this who is this and she was like girl i told you we pulling up on somebody and i'm gonna get out the car i'm really gonna get out the car so y'all why are we driving <laughs> we get it closer and i'm like okay you know finishing up my fries and shit we get it closer and they like roll the windows down because they want them to see us and like tell us to stop type shit but it doesn't matter because vanilla claims she know them why we get closer and britney seen vanilla baby daddy she skirt the fuck off she drove off so fast where they was looking because i turned back they look and she was like skirt she said bitch no we's not putting up on your baby daddy she like britney go over there just go over there damn what the fuck so she like no we're not putting up on your baby daddy we're not doing this today so coco dying like we all just laughing in the back seat she like, we not doing that. So she like, man, bitch, you're weird. Okay, just drop me off over there. Drop me off to him. You said who want to get dropped off? Drop me off. So she like, no, I'm dropping you off to your house. So she mad. She hit the corner and gonna pull back over there. She rolled down the window like and screamed Vanilla Baby Daddy name. And she was like, yo, baby, mama in the car. And he was like, what? He was like, yo, baby, mama in the car. So she was like, what you doing? Hi, baby daddy, what you doing? So he came over there, y'all. He looked so irritated. Like, he looked irritated as fuck. But Brittany started being annoying. Like, he couldn't even really be irritated with Vanilla because Brittany is just an annoying ass person and he just she just was like talking shit that's just what she do so she's just talking shit like saying little shit to him I don't remember what she was saying but she gonna say some shit that's gonna get under your fucking skin literally she got into it with crazy before she gets she's just fucking annoying so anyway she's saying little shit to get under his skin so vanilla like let's just get out the car let's get out so he was like nah like go take her away you already know i don't like britney like take her like get her away from over here so his homies end up coming to the car because they like bro get back in the game like what are you doing so they come to the car they like oh hey he like they finna leave they finna go so britney like what's up he was like no uh, -uh nobody talking to her she's fucking annoying like no get her away from here so vanilla like y'all want to get out the car so coco like yeah i'm like i'm not tripping so when one boy was trying to talk to Brittany, 
That's when Brittany like, okay, we can stay. He like, no, oh my God. I swear, Vanilla Baby Daddy was so irritated. He like, oh my God, can y'all leave? Like, no, what? Oh, oh my God. He was so irritated. This is us hopping out the car. Just getting out the car to talk and shit like that. But they wasn't really talking about nothing. Like, we was there for like a cool little minute and... I don't know. We ended up leaving because he was just irritated. And he was like, why do we got her outside anyway when she pregnant? Like, we not good influences on her. Um, We're not a car full of pregnant girls and <laughs> doing crazy stuff. Like, literally, she came right around to eat with her friends. She came bringing the groceries in the house for her cousin. I'm just kidding. But he was so irritated. So, we ended up leaving. At this point, time is going on. And they were talking about another little spot, like somebody's house we could go pull up to and kick it at. This time, I'm looking at the clock. I said, hold up. Looking at my Gucci, it's about that time. I got to go. So I'm like, Brittany, can you take me home? I start panicking. She like, girl, what's wrong? I'm, you don't want to go to the kickback? I'm like, can you take me home? I got I to gotta do something. I got to be home at a certain time. Can you take me home? So she's like, why you got a curfew? I said, no, but I got to do something. I got to do something. So she like, she finna leave us for a dude. Like, you finna leave us for somebody? That's crazy. So they like, can we go pull up on him? He got friends. I'm I'm like it ain't that like even if it was no so i'm panicking y'all she ended up taking me home i run in that house literally i got in the house literally like three minutes before 10 o'clock 10 o'clock on the dot who the fuck Dring. Dring. private caller i said <gasps> almost missed it y'all i answered that phone i'm like hello he was like <laughs> now this is where shit gonna get a little weird so he was like hello this Simone? I said, yeah, this is Simone. He was like, okay, good. Okay, you're already following instructions. This is going to be easy. I'm not going to have to, they're not going to have to unalive you. I said, this nigga getting straight to the point. He was like, so I just need you to keep following the instructions. I'm going to give it to them and I'm going to try to get your, you and your family safe. I promise you, Simone, because y'all don't deserve this. At blank, blank, one, two, three, Sesame Street Lane. I said, why do he keep saying the address? So I was like, okay, so what, what do I got to do? Come on, because at this point, I'm finna save the day. What the fuck I got to do? So he like, Okay, I would never forget this shit. He was like, okay, so I'm gonna need you to go into the kitchen. And at this point, I said, oh shit, because mind you, you said they got eyes on us and we got a big kitchen window. So I'm like, fuck, he at the freeway with a beam pointing and he finna just knock my rocks out when I go in that freaking kitchen. So he was like, I want you to go in the kitchen. I'm like, uh huh. He was like, get a cup of water. I'm like, yeah. And he was like, and I want you to drink it. So I said, this man done contaminated the damn water. I said, okay, and then what? He was like, and then I want you to get another cup of water. I said, oh, it's getting intense. And he was like, and I want you to drink it. So I was like, oh, that's it? I'm thinking like, oh, this is easy. I'm gonna save my mama life. I'm like, oh, I just gotta drink water. So I'm like, okay, and I said, he said, that's just the beginning. I said the fuck this water got to do anything so anyway i'm like okay so i'm walking around my room and he was like go in the kitchen and i was like i am in the kitchen mind you i'm walking around my room he was like no you're not i told you i got eyes on you are you fucking playing with me he was getting an attitude i said damn he do got eyes on us because how he know so i end up going to the kitchen i'm scared as fuck i'm looking i heard him walk past the window i'm getting the water so he's like you drink i drank the whole cup drank the second cup he's like okay now this is where you have to pay a lot of attention so i'm like what what do i gotta do he said, I want you to tell me when you have to pee. Y'all, when I swear to God, I said, what? He was like, I want you to tell me when you have to pee. And I was like, and then what? He was like, do not go to the bathroom. I'll give you the instructions after that. So when I tell y'all, I was confused. At this point, I'm like, okay i said are you gonna call back because sometimes it takes me a while to have to pee after i drink water and he was like no i'm gonna sit on the phone because i need to make sure that you're really following directions he was like because you keep going in a blind spot and i can't see you so i was scared cause i said fuck my room i have my curtain closed and i'm like in the window is literally like if you look out the window you can see the into the neighbor's backyard so i'm like oh my god my room is a blind spot so i go back in my room and i'm like fuck he can't see me in here he can't see me i'm panicking i'm in the mirror like oh Oh, I'm just stressed out. So finally, because he kept asking me, do you got to pee yet? And I was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I have to pee. I have to pee. So he's like, okay. Mind you, he told me to put on some, um, like, legging type material, spandex material, sh shorts or leg or, like, pants. He told me if I had jeans on, I, I can't wear that. I'm like, okay. So he was like, okay, go in the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah. He was like, and I want you to sit on the toilet. So I'm like, okay. I'm about to put on. He said, I, I, I. So I'm like, 
I'm scared. Come like this nigga could see me. He said, I want you to sit on the toilet with your pants pulled up and I want you to pee on yourself and I want to hear it. Y'all, when I tell you that's that would have been enough for a lot of people, but I don't know. I was kind of dumb. And he kept repeating the address and he knew my mom's name and he mentioned my uncle's name at one point. So I was kind of nervous. So I said, you want me to do what? And he was like, yeah. I said, how is this going to help with the money problem? He was like, it just shows that they could trust you. Like, you know, they got some humiliation kink. He was like, I don't want to hear this shit. You think I really want to hear this? Yes. I promise you, this man had... Anyway, so he was like, you think I want to hear this? I don't want to hear it. So he was like, and I want to hear you. I want to hear it. You cannot pull your pants down. You got to pee on yourself. So I'm like, okay. So y'all, I sat there and no, I did not do what the key asked me to do. Because I'm like, he can't see me in here. It's a low window in the bathroom. And I, I would see if somebody was seeing me through it. So I cut the water on. And he was like, <sighs> y'all, when I tell y'all, I was like, the fuck? Because it was like, this man is getting pleasure from this. So I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't say it though. So I was like, okay, is that it? He was like, I I'm going to let them know the information. I'm going to let them know. He was like, that was a lot. You must have been holding it for a while. Because mind you, I had the water running. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was. I forgot. He was like, next time you need to tell me when you got to pee. Don't be holding it for too long. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, my bad. And I'm thinking like, wait, next time? What the fuck? So he was like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to call you back with instructions. He was like, you know what you need to do, right? I said, no. He was like, you need to get a phone. Because it's a lot of instructions that's coming next that you really need to get you a cell phone for. Like, we need a cell phone. So I was like okay and he was i'm like but i don't know if i could afford one <laughs> this time he's like well you need to borrow somebody's phone so y'all he ended up telling me before like he was about to hang up and he was like hold on he was like i just told them this information hold because he told me to hold on and he put me like on hold clearly he muted the phone he put me on hold because it, like i said i don't know who this person is who the fuck am i talking to he put me on hold for a cool minute and then he came back and was like oh, they saying it's not enough so I'm thinking like, with these little easy ass things I gotta do, my mom debt is gonna be paid off in no time. So I'm like, okay, what do you want me to do? He was like, they wanna see if you have somebody that you could trust. They wanna make sure that if we could trust you that you did not tell this information to nobody. Cause this should've been a red flag too. Y'all, I was telling him like, okay, I'm gonna tell my mom, you know, maybe she could help me out with the piano on the phone. I'm just kidding, not that part. But I, before he told me he was gonna call back. And he was like, you can't tell your mom nothing, which should have been a red flag for my stupid ass because why the fuck would this ha involve my mom? But now that I'm in it, I cannot tell her. You know, I should have, anyway. So, um, yeah, he was like, I want to make sure you didn't tell nobody. We want to make sure you loyal. So he was like, give us your best friend or somebody you talk to all the time's phone number. So I'm like, uh why he was like we just want to confirm they want to confirm if they know this information y'all me dumber than a box of ding dongs i said okay i guess <laughs> i know she's gonna watch this and she's gonna be like you stupid bitch because i y'all it, anyway i gave them my sister number my sister jay i was like I, I gave them her number he was like we're just gonna confirm some information about you if we could trust you and shit like that and we're gonna confirm see if they know if you told her anything so i was like okay so i'm scared as fuck i'm scared out of my mind he, he hang up right <laughs> he hangs up the phone tell me why a good like 20 minutes later who calls me? Ebony calls me and she's like, bitch, why the fuck such as, mind you, she not cussing me out. She's telling me like, cause he didn't mention my name to her, nothing. She thought that this nigga called her saying some stupid shit. She think at this time she going through with this boy, I forgot what she named him her story time. She thinking that it was him playing on her phone. She thought it was this boy she was dealing with playing on her phone. So she like, bitch, why the fuck such and such playing on my phone, calling me, talking about some, he, I hit his car or something like that. She like, and then he called me talking about some pee on the phone. <laughs> so I'm like, this nigga did not say he was going to have her do that shit. So I'm like, oh, wow. She was like, yeah, that's so crazy. And I'm like, wow, he's so weird. Mind you, I'm going along with it, letting her think like it's, the person she was just stopped talking to so i'm like wow he's weird why would he call you and say that she's like girl i don't know but i know it was him like i know it was him i'm like dang that's so weird and she's like right so next thing you know the phone start beeping the other line because we always be talking on the house phone the other line start beeping so i'm like i see it say private call but i'm like damn he's calling back so i'm like um hold on i'm, I'm let me call you right back so she's like okay so i hang up and i'm like hello he was like i don't know if you passed the test or not 
because she didn't cooperate. So I was like, what did you say to her? He was all like, I told her not to tell nobody or something like that. I think he said he told her not to tell, like she couldn't tell this information to nobody because he mentioned the mafia thing to her. He asked me her name, mind you, I gave him a name that was not her name and he was saying information that didn't make sense. So that's why she thought it was somebody else playing on her phone. So he told her not to tell nobody, right? So he was all like, I need to see if she's loyal. I said, she cannot be involved in this. Like, this is all me. I'm involved my mom. I'm like, we ain't even got the same mama. Like, this can't be involved. He's like, she's not involved. We just need to check if she's loyal because they don't need nobody knowing this information. Mind you, I think it sounds stupid as fuck, but shit, I don't know shit about the mom. So I'm like, okay, um, he's like, I want you to call her on three way and you bet not warn her that I'm on the phone. So I'm like, oh my god so i call her and i'm like hello she was like girl yeah back to what i was saying because he's so weird i'm trying to cut her the fuck off like girl stop talking about it they got beams at my house i'm trying to cut her off i'm like girl uh-huh yeah okay so i basically cut her off because she's saying what she said and i hung up he was like why did you do that why the fuck did you do that when i hung up the phone on her well i well had her hang up or whatever he like why the fuck did you do that why would you do that he cussing me out because he was like you know what it's and she repeating what i told her not to repeat and da 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 da, da and all this stuff and i'm like oh my god so he started repeating the address I'm, I'm sorry I'm like if there's anything i could do to make it up for what her she did she's not gonna tell nobody i promise she think it's somebody playing on her phone he was like you know what you gotta do he was like eh, i i in 24 hours i need you to send some naked pictures <laughs> y'all he said in 24 hours, I need you to send full naked pictures to this phone number. And he was like, I'm going to provide you with the, mind you, not this phone number because he's calling private. He was like, I'm going to provide you with the phone number once you get the photos. I said, what the fuck? So I'm like, how am I going to send pictures with no phone? I'm so happy I told this man I ain't had no phone because how fucking scary and dumb I was. So I'm like, I probably would have sent them. So I'm like, I can't send them. I don't have a phone. So he was like, you need to borrow somebody's phone, get somebody's phone. I'm like, nobody plans on coming over and my grandparents don't have a cell phone. He was like, you need to fight, figure it out, figure it out. He was like, because I can't keep holding off this shit for y'all. Y'all y'all making it hard for me. So I'm like, oh my God, y'all, I'm stressed the fuck out. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I thought about it. I thought about it and then I was thinking to myself like this doesn't even make sense why would the mob want naked photos of me to, to hold off of my mom I'm dead to know she's I'm loyal this makes no sense because I what I was so confused y'all he ended up hanging up the phone and he was mad I'm like fuck oh my god I was stressed the fuck out y'all let me just say because it's the end of this story but let me just let y'all know I know y'all probably thinking Simone what in the mother what's wrong with you for keep answering that phone what got me to keep answering the phone was one he kept repeating the address two he knew my mom name which was like i mean obviously he knew her and then like i said my mom had me really questioning a lot of things that she did when i was younger so i used to be like it doesn't not gonna say it don't sound far-fetched but come it didn't so that was two he knew my grandma i mean he knew my freaking um uncle name and then i think he mentioned my sister tatiana name like something like that so mind you i'm like what like i was just like so scared and i want to just let y'all know this because i'm gonna tell y'all more stories about this it goes in probably the next story i could like end it off but y'all when i tell y'all this shit went on for like two to three months and then i know y'all probably wondering how i found out who he was so in the next story i'm gonna just end up ending it the next story yeah i'll just end the whole thing because I could literally just sum up everything but how i found out who he was was crazy because it was like bro it made me so fucking mad because like i said he told me not to tell and he would know if i talked and all this other shit so it's like when i end up finding out it just pissed me off so fucking bad because it's like if i would have just not been a scary bitch and came to my mom with this information i know that's a question people gonna want to know did my mom know who it was yes she knew who the this was and then if I'd have just came to her, it would have just it bought me so much. I wouldn't have had to go through all the shit I had went through emotionally draining talking to this fucking man. Let me just wait till the next third come out. But y'all, that's it for this story time. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to go buy your ticket to the Denim and Diamonds event. We're going to be fun. We're going to be lit. Come dress in your denims or your diamonds or your silver or whatever color you think go with the theme. I don't know. But yeah, come out. Have a good time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.